Thank you so much for being here, Mr. Right. President, Mrs. Bush. My condolences to you. Well, thank you. We appreciate that. There's a lot of condolences pouring in, and uh, uh, Laura and I and our entire family are very grateful for people's prayers and sympathies. It's a, you know, it's a, it's the end of a beautiful life. It was an incredible life, a life well lived, but it's never easy. I know that, and you know, all of the comments this morning about your mother are about how warm and wonderful and what a leader she was, but also tough as nails. Yeah, well, she was warm and wonderful till you got out of line, <laughs> and she wasn't too warm and wonderful. No, she was awesome. She was funny and yeah. fierce and set her mind. She yeah, was a great role model for me, for sure. I learned how to be a first lady. I was just going to say, I was reading that when you were first uh, first lady, it was easier for you than it would have been because yeah. you had your mother-in-law. I had my mother-in-law, and of course, I'd watched her uh, the whole time she was first lady and, and uh, when she campaigned with President Bush. so that And I actually had the conversation with her early on when he first started to run that she would work on literacy that she thought that was the most important. If everyone could read and write, a lot of problems would be and solved. And you picked up that and, I and, picked that and, up and, and, and well. kept running with it. Mm -hmm. Literacy, education for That's women, right. and did so much mm -hmm. for, for women. Mm -hmm. well, thanks. Mm -hmm. and, and Mr. President, let me ask you, I know that you saw this coming. We know that um, Mrs. Bush said that she did not want any more medical uh, attention and she wanted her comfort care, but were you able to say goodbye? Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, in person and then on the phone. Laura and I uh, uh, went over to see her uh, a week ago Saturday and uh, we had a wonderful visit. She was strong, lucid. Uh, funny, uh, still. Funny, she and I were needling each other and the doctor <laughs> came in and she turned to the doctor and said, you want to know why George W. is the way he is? And the doctor looked somewhat surprised. She said, because I drank and smoked when I was pregnant with him. <laughs> Yeah, no, she's funny, and uh, we I had a beautiful visit with her uh, uh, when it looked like uh, well, yesterday morning on the phone, and uh, she didn't say much, but I told her I loved her, and uh, here's the thing, uh, she had great faith, she truly believes that uh, she is, uh, there's an afterlife, that she'll be uh, wonderfully received in the arms of a loving God, and therefore did not fear death. And as a result of her soul being comforted on the deathbed, my soul is comforted. Wow. I love the fact that she was married to your father for 73 years. Isn't yeah. That great? Yeah, he was by her side, by the way, when she passed. He said that. Which yeah. is sweet, yeah. And, and we have a, a love letter that he wrote to her yeah. that we have been talking about this morning uh, from World War II in 1943, yeah. uh, penned by your father, and it's going viral this morning, <laughs> obviously, and it says, uh, it reads in part, this may sound melodramatic, but if it does, it is only my inadequacy uh, to say what I mean. Bar, you have made my life full of everything I could ever dream of. My complete happiness should be a token of my love for you. Yeah. Were they just sort of just like a love affair? there all the time I mean in, in yeah, it person. seemed that way you know uh, they really were yeah yeah that was a great example so here's the thing we've got this leadership forum here, yeah. and my mother would say uh, make darn sure that you participate fully in the leadership forum <laughs> and you know in other words don't sit around and feel sorry for me or yourself more importantly yeah but move on with life and that's what uh, that's what we're doing and we thank you for being down here because this uh, Bush Institute is very important to us, and uh, we've got some programs that we think are very transformative and helpful for the future of the country. Yeah, why do you like printing? It's mind expanding. Mm. Uh, it's doing something I never dreamt I would do. Tell him your line. He was actually an art agnostic. Really? He never even looked at art. Uh, we lived in the White House with a really beautiful art collection. The White House has a great collection of American art. Uh, but he didn't really look at it. But now he does. Do you do you also paint, Mrs. Bush? No, no. Okay. And she's not a very good subject. <laughs> what? what? Not, I haven't been really you wild. Ha you haven't painted any of the more? portraits he's tried, done of me. I, well, I tried one, and <laughs> believe me. Well, it better be good. It better be good. It was exactly. never good enough. <laughs> I bet. The painting that, uh, the, well, we're, we're showing some pictures right now. The painting that you did of Vladimir Putin yeah. um, is, is great. Thank I you. I have a picture of it. And I remember the, the line, you looked into his eyes and saw so his soul. Saw, yeah. Some people feel like if there's anybody who knows Putin, uh, the best out of everybody is you. Yeah, I know him pretty well. Are you surprised at what has taken place Well, what Russia happened was when I looked in his eyes and saw his soul, Russia was broke. I mean, short-term broke. 
and uh, price of oil goes up and Putin changed. And uh, look, he's a, he's a very smart tactician. The problem is uh, his whole attitude and on most <coughs> issues is I'm going to win and the U.S. is going to lose. And uh, so I'm not very surprised. I mean, he is a very aggressive person uh, who wants to uh, reinstate Soviet influence, even though the Soviet no longer exists. And, uh, uh, and therefore, I always felt it was very important for the United States to be very forceful in dealing with Putin. Not belligerent, but forceful. Mr. President, let me ask you a little about the news, because, of course, last week we saw President Trump pardon Scooter Libby. Yeah, good. Your reaction? My reaction is I'm happy for Scooter and his family. Did you see the Wall Street Journal headline saying Scooter Libby was the soldier left on the battlefield? No, I didn't see that. But, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I'm sure he's got some friends in the editorial board there. And, uh, you know, as I said, I'm happy for his family and friend for Scooter. M Mrs. Bush, you remain one of the most popular and loved first ladies of all time. All right. <laughs> and you have your own incredible leadership style. Uh, do you want to pass on any words of advice to our current first lady, Melania Trump? Well, no, I wouldn't give her advice, but I've met Melania. She invited me to tea at the White House. And she's a beautiful woman and a very, very lovely. So and are I, you, honey. Oh, thank you, darling. And I think she'll, um, I think she will do really very well. My thanks to President Bush and former First Lady Laura Bush, and my thanks to the George W. Bush Presidential Center. We will take a break. When we come back, does the DNC lawsuit against Russia, WikiLeaks, and the Trump campaign have any merit? We're debating that with our panel. We're looking ahead on Sunday Morning Futures right now with the panel on deck. <laughs>